in this video, I'm going to showing you guys how to get more wins in TTO co-op and showing you guys how to complete it as fast as possible. If you guys don't know, there is a centerpiece at 50 wins in TTO co-op. So I know a lot of people are trying to get games done and they're trying to complete this mode as fast as possible. So you guys can see the two different game modes are going to be competitive and are going to be co-op. And I know a lot of people are very confused. Do they count for the same wins? Can you still get the centerpiece in co-op if or if you do competitive? So the easiest way to explain it is if you guys can see on the right of the screen and kind of the bottom right, there is going to be the win totals, right? Right now, I think I'm at like 63, 62 wins, and we can see it goes 65, 70, 75, 80, and 85. Competitive counts for those wins. So if I win a game on competitive, it will count towards that win counter, and I'll have a chance to get Kenya Martin, Andrew Wiggins, and that ferocious pack. And I think you have some chances to get some historic trophy case packs and some trophy case packs in general. But if I click X and I switch it over to co-op, it is going to count for the exact same amount of wins. So I know a lot of people are saying, oh, do I have to play co-op uh, will co-op count for wins or you know do i have to play co-op and competitive you can do co-op all the way through and you can get 250 wins just by playing co-op and that's the fastest way to do it is because once you just play co-op you're just gonna be versing the cpu where if you're on competitive you are going to be versing against other real players so what you guys want to do is change the setting to co-op now the only difference is is as you guys can see in the top right of the screen kind of it says competitive only for those three rewards so you can't get kenya martin you can't get wiggins and you can't get the trophy case packs if you're playing on co-op but if you're just trying to get the wins done super fast you are definitely going to want to do this on co-op it's basically just going to be like playing triple that offline that's why if you look at my lineup screen right all you have to do is have one friend or one person to play with you don't have to have two people for co-op and you don't have to have two people for competitive all you got to do is have one other person to play with so for example my boy raz he's going to hop on a gold center and the reason why he's doing that is because if you guys if you guys have played tto offline before you want to use like gold cards and then like one amethyst curry because you're versing the cpu so it's super easy to do and if you have lower tier like gold cards and amethyst you're not going to verse that very good players but if, for example if i was on for example if i was on a you know higher tier point guard if i was on opal jimmy butler right that means we would match like a lot higher cards and it'd be a lot harder to do so what you guys want to do is have one person go on amethyst curry or go on a guy you want to shoot threes with and then have your other friend or other person to play with just go on a gold center so we're going to hop into it and i'm going to show you guys how to get these wins done super fast and easy so as you guys can see the lineup reversing is fairly easy to play against we got a gold card they got amethyst curry and then they have diamond luka as well if i had a galaxy opal in the lineup we would have versed a lot better of Team. so for example my boy raz is going to pass me the ball and he doesn't really have to do anything right so if you're the person on the point guard we, all you got to do is shoot threes and it's on the cpu difficulty so it should be fairly easy to do and like i said if your friend or the person you're playing with is on the center they don't got to do anything they can just flop the whole time you can pretty much just let them score it really doesn't matter because you should be able to knock down shots pretty consistently so some good moves i like to do is the curry slide right to create some space around a screen you can have your friend setting screens if you want to you don't have to have screens and there's also some really effective moves to help you get you wide open but yeah you guys can see like i mean it's very easy to do knock down my first two threes we can leave a steph curry wide open or their steph curry wide open the cpus and he's gonna miss right so another really good mode is gonna be called i, I call it kind of like the step back so what you guys want to do is hold down rt and then just flick the right stick down and you're gonna do this move right there so you see how much space i create so you hold down rt or r2 i think on ps and then the right stick you just flick down and you create a decent amount of space and then you can shoot and you do get a very good wide open look Look. so the curry slide's really good right that move i call kind of like the snatch back not snatch back the step back the whatever you want to call that move i think that's also a very effective one to do and yeah you guys can see how fast we're getting this done right my friends grabbing rebounds they haven't even scored a point yet we're gonna do a little snatch back or step back animation and you guys can see we're already at 12 points and we're already already about to get this trip with that offline game done that's basically what it's like it's called tto co-op you can definitely play this online if you guys want to have more fun because obviously this is kind of boring right it's more fun to play against other real players Players, but if you want to get it done the fastest way possible and you want to get that uh, centerpiece at 50 wins super fast this is going to be the way to do it just go have one friend one person to play with them hop on a gold center you hop on amethyst curry and then all you got to do is get 50 wins doing this like i said if you want to go to the competitive mode if you want to grab two other friends or another friend to play with and you want to play against other real players then you can definitely do so and like i said it counts for the same win counter but yeah that's all the move you got to do is literally just hold down rt flick the right stick back or flick the right stick down i should say and then you will have a wide open three right all you gotta do is hit one more three-pointer and that is gonna be a win done in co-op and on defense i mean if it's a close game you can try to play defense but 
we're up by like what 11 points now so we can just leave them wide open I, I don't think i've even missed a shot to be honest you're obviously going to miss more shots it's not this easy like usually usually when we're playing i do miss a couple shots here and there but realistically very easy to do right boom done Did I, I think i went seven for seven right easy game seven for seven quickly done fast and easy so yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if we did help you guys out make sure to drop a like and sub down below if you guys have any questions about tto cup and anything in general you guys can let me know in the comment section down below but there we go we got a win done super fast and easy and we and if you guys aren't at the 50 wins in co-op you guys are definitely want to go do that because it's super fast and easy to get that centerpiece but hopefully you guys did enjoy and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace